right i'm finally out to shoot a video and it's not because i've not been trying it's purely because we've either been busy or when i've not been busy the weather's been absolutely shocking so i'm finally out and i'm at a great location today we're down at pitstone which is just on the buckinghamshire border and just in front of me we've got a really nice windmill here so that's going to give us a really nice subject to work with and likewise we've got some crepuscular rays just over there i hope i pronounced that correctly and they look really good so we might try and get a picture with those later on now the clouds just over there they're either going to be really great or they're going to become a burden to me just depends a little bit later on when the sun actually finally sets um, whether it's going to block the sun out or whether those clouds are just going to help reflect that light back up so we shall see and we've got some really nice kind of barley fields surrounding it so I'm hoping that that might just give us some kind of foreground interest possibly uh, who knows um, just behind us a little bit of kind of location information that's Ivanhoe Beacon just up there um, also another great place uh, to try and take pictures if anybody wants uh, another location to go to so worth checking that place out so my plan is to find a nice composition have a look around see what i come up with and then we'll take it from there i've also got myself a dji mavic pro so i'm hoping that's going to really help with some extra shots in my videos and also it might help with some aerial photography later on as well. So anyway, that's enough of me talking. I'm going to have a look around, see what I come up with, and I'll chip back in with you guys shortly. See you in a bit. I've managed to find myself a nice composition here so we're just kind of at the back one of the back corners of the windmill here and I've just got that in my left hand third and then we've also got the sun setting just behind it uh, that cloud is actually working in our favor at the moment it's just kind of diffusing all of that harsh light so that's really working well I'm just hoping when that just drops a little bit lower hopefully it will just start reflecting off of those clouds just there however um, with those really nice storm clouds it's um, giving us a really good contrast in the sky so I'm just gonna kind of head around and just see if I can find some different compositions and some different angles um, just over there I've got the Fuji just over there time-lapsing at the moment so that's gonna be capturing some really nice uh, movement in those clouds and at the moment settings on this are f10 ISO 100 and we've also got shooting at about a fourth of a second at the moment and filters we've got a 0.6 soft soft edge graduated filter on there and we've also got a polarizer on the front just to um, give us some really nice contrast in those clouds and also just to hold that bit detail back in the sky as well so I'm just gonna head around and just see if I can find a couple more compositions while well, we've still got this really nice light and uh, I'll catch you guys shortly.
Right, so it looks like we had a really, really good evening this evening. Uh, we've got some great images and we had some really lovely colour from that sunset. And we also got some really nice sun rays come poking through those clouds as well. I'm just waiting for the time lapse just to finish over there. Can't hear it clicking, so I think that's, I think that's done now. Uh, a little story with that Fuji, real quick. Um, that had an argument with a nectarine in my backpack when I was on holiday. So that had to go away to Fujifilm to be repaired, which is why you haven't seen any time lapses featured in my videos just of recent. Um, also, something else that's new, I've managed to, or started developing a website. So um, I'll keep you posted when that goes live, but when that does, please be sure to check that out. But in the meantime, go and check out my Facebook page, which is Pete Watson Photography, and in brackets UK, but I will pop the link to that in the description. Uh, talking about description, I will pop all the camera settings in there as well, as I normally do. And once again, if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up, and also, um, Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you've got any questions or uh, would like to leave a comment, then please um, get uh, writing in that comment box as well. So thank you guys for watching and until next time.